Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Bruna. So today is a special video. It's a lipstick swatch video. I know you guys love these lipstick swatch videos. Um, I love lipstick too. I'm a lipstick hoarder, so I would not even question why you guys love lipstick so much. But today's very exciting. I'm going to be trying on the Fenty Beauty. So I went to Ulta Beauty and I went ahead and grabbed all the Stunna Lip Pen... St is this what it's called? The Stunna Lip Paints that I could find that was in stock. And I was like, I'm going to swatch all these for you guys because I was so intrigued to see all of the colors. I currently have on Uncuffed on my lips right now. And I mean, it's a vibe. So... Like, let's go and uh, try on these lip colors. Why not, right? So this is the shade Unbutton. Unbutton. It's so sultry. Such a sultry name. Well, it's a peachy nude. And as you guys can see, I got to shake it up. For some reason, the packaging says to shake it up. And I have no idea why we're shaking anything up. And then it's called Unbutton. It's just a lot of like, that's what she said. Jokes can be totally made right now. But I have no that's what she said jokes. It takes me forever to even understand them. But anyways, as you can see, the applicator is very different. It is not a doe foot. It's not a regular applicator. It's like super unique. It has like a very hourglass shape to it. And it's like a slanted point and it's really cute. And as you can see, it's super easy for me to apply my liquid lipstick because I am often, often a victim of the crooked lips from liquid lipsticks comment down below if you're also someone who is a victim of crooked lips and people on instagram keep telling me that i got crooked lips and no it's not my crooked lips it's my bad skills of applying liquid lipstick but these liquid lipsticks by fenty beauty the stunna lip paints they're like foolproof and i love this but i don't really love this peachy nude color on my skin tone i think it didn't really work out um i'm not really a peachy nude type of girl and then we're going to go in to the very famous Uncensored. And this is like the universal, she's called it the perfect universal red. That's how Fenty Beauty's marketing it. They call it the perfect universal red. Now, you know me. I don't believe in universal anything. I feel like there are so many skin tones in the world that it's very hard to say that one red lip color is from for every skin tone. Yeah, no. Not sold on that, but I do find this color stunning. Although I have way more favorite reds that, you know, that are in the market. This is an okay red for me. I thought it was stunning. I thought it was beautiful. It was super opaque and it went on really, really good. If you guys want me to do my top 10 red lipsticks for brown skin, comment down below and I will hook y'all up with that. The next color is Unveil. Unveil is a chocolate brown, but this is like my favorite lip color because chocolate brown, it's usually a little too caca -y for me. Like, I don't know if you guys know what I mean. Like, it looks like you got caca on your lips. This is not one of those chocolatey browns. Like, this is like milk chocolate brown, and it's really, really nice. I love that it doesn't have too much of a warm undertone or too neutral or even too... It's like It's just like the perfect color. It's not like in your face chocolate brown i think it's a beautiful nude for any brown girl but it's more of like a bold nude for a brown girl and as you can see like it's just such a nice glide with that applicator i really like this applicator it's so so good and the formula is really nice obviously this isn't going to dry down to a super matte it's going to dry down to more of like a semi matte which i'm down for because your girl is getting you know old and my lips are getting wrinkly so like I don't really need to be that matty. Look at you. Look at you, Runa. Stunt your stuff. Smile, smile, smile. Okay, now this is the color that none of you guys will probably want to wear. And all of you guys are like, what the hell is that? So this is called Uninvited and it's smooth black. And it is definitely a super bold color. It's a questionable color. It's not your traditional color. Not anyone, not everyone would wear this. And you would think like, um, maybe we should wear this only on Halloween. But your girl... Runa, I am a lover of black lipstick. It makes me so bold and it makes me just feel like very rebellious. And I feel like I pull it off really well. And this one wasn't as dark and opaque as I wanted it to be. Um, it was a little bit, it's a little bit more subtle. And that's the thing about Fenty Beauty that I like, that it's very bold, but subtle. And I think that just is really good for like girls that want to experiment with bold looks, but they're not comfortable with going super bold right away. So I think Fenty Beauty gives you like the happy medium of everything. Hey guys, so that was me trying on all of the colors. I only got five 
and I think there's eight and I just couldn't get my hands on eight because the other three were probably sold out when I went there I only saw these five colors and you know I snatched them up because I've never tried these and I love lipsticks and this is actually glass you guys it's glass which is really luxe like for $24 the packaging is super super luxe and super super pretty so out of all of the colors that I've got here I think all four of these these are my favorite including this one which is uninvited which is like totally my jam because it's like you're not even invited to step up and talk to me because you're rude <laughs> that's what I'm basically like trying to say when I wear this lip color like it's totally a vibe it's totally a mood um I did not like unbutton and the only reason why I didn't like unbutton is because it was a little too um it was a little too like light for my lip color it just like didn't stand out on my lips I feel like if I do wear unbutton I need to wear it with like a lip liner because it's a little it's just not tan girl friendly in my opinion um i think it just has like a really weird undertone so i think with a lip liner like a darker lip liner and just like blend it in this would look really nice but then again why would i want to do that much work to wear a lipstick sometimes i just really need to like hurry up and put my lipstick on i think my favorite nude out of these two out of these three my favorite nude was uncuffed this is a really pretty nude rosy nudes always look really good on me so of course uncuffed is going to be my favorite because it's like more of a rosy nude and then unveil was like more of a brown mocha color which is really nice it's more of a bolder nude which is really nice and i think it's really good for a darker skin tone i would still wear it like as a bold lip because i love dark dark brown lip lipstick it's just so pretty to me and then this red was very very pretty it looked a little bit more orangey red on me I was I usually like more of a blue undertone in my reds because it makes your teeth look a little bit whiter but it was more of an orangey undertone for me and that's how it looked on me but it was still stunning and, and it was like still stunning and real pretty and um, I loved it so if I had to say were these worth $24 definitely the big pigmentation was amazing the it feels really really good I, and then yeah so I tested out the whole day wear test is really good um, pigmentation is really good you can relayer these because they're a soft matte so you can see that this is like it's kind of a little fady so I would probably go in with the second layer but the really cool thing about these is that they they're very like wearable and they don't crack and they're not doing anything crazy the colors are really stunning hey guys so i will see you guys in my next video if you like these type of videos go ahead and subscribe to my channel don't forget to turn on the notifications and also comment down below if you want me to try on any other lipstick brands i have a ton of other lipstick brands that i want to try on i'm going to do ysl i'm going to do the new huda beauty ones so um lipstick swatching is like it, it's a jam right it's a jam so i'll see you guys in my next video love you guys so much bye